too insane, Tesla semi truck is likely to undergo a complete cabin redesign after Musk's latest announcement regarding the big rig. The total weight of 82,000 pounds could also disappear along with the old dimensions. Elon Musk officially brings the Tesla semi to Giga Berlin with an ambition that couldn't be crazier. However, a leaked information suggests that the big rig is heavily stuck at Giga Nevada due to a supply chain issue. Overcoming this challenge would be a significant step forward for the semi-truck. So, how is the Tesla Semi faring in the real world? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. It couldn't be more accurate. Tesla has officially decided to build electric trucks in Europe. We think this is great news and can't wait to see electric semi-trucks on the road and not just Teslas, but other trucks around the world instead of heavy black smoke diesel trucks make up 1% but contribute to 18% of atmospheric CO2. Imagine what it would be like if they were all electric trucks that could actually conquer hills with almost zero emissions. Why was Tesla Semi brought to Europe? During a visit to Tesla's Giga factory, Elon Musk discussed plans to produce semi trucks in Germany to cater to the European transportation market. This visit comes amid recent arson incidents at Giga Berlin forcing Tesla to temporarily halt automobile production, with repair costs reported to be up to 1 million euros or 1.1 million US dollars. Based on a recording, Elon Musk said during a visit to the Berlin Gigafactory that in his opinion, the production of semi-trucks in Europe at the Berlin Gigafactory is a reasonable decision. Previously, around November last year, also during a visit to a European factory, Elon Musk directly announced that Giga Berlin would begin participating in the production of the $25,000 Tesla model along with Giga Texas. The reason for Musk's bold decision actually has one main reason. So, what is the secret behind Musk bringing Tesla Semi and $25,000 Tesla EVs to Giga Berlin's production line? By producing the Tesla Semi at Giga Berlin, this demonstrates that Tesla is truly committed to Europe, not just as an automotive factory, but we believe they're expanding their presence in Europe, more accurately asserting a strong position ahead of a slew of other automakers. Recently, the emergence of electric trucks such as the Mercedes-Benz Eactro 600, Volvo FH Electric, and Renault Trucks T-High Electric has been extremely noticeable. Part of the reason for this surge is due to increasingly stringent environmental policies. Governments and environmental agencies are issuing regulations and emissions laws that could escalate the production costs of electric drivetrain and diesel engines. Furthermore, road tolls can cost transporters up to 25,000 euros per truck annually. Transitioning to emission-free vehicles like the Tesla Semi could significantly reduce those overall costs. Bringing Tesla trucks to such a lucrative market has been part of Elon's plan. As part of its expansion plans, Gigafactory Berlin aims to construct another facility of similar size to the current Gigafactory to increase production capacity from 500,000 to 1 million units. If the production of Tesla Semi is expanded beyond Giga Nevada and North America, releasing a larger quantity of this electric truck could potentially accelerate its growth compared to the current 100 units. Although it may not contribute significantly to the 1 million unit target at Giga Berlin, in fact, the only model that has the potential to help Elon achieve this figure is clearly Tesla's Model 2, a cheap Tesla of only $25,000. Of course, Tesla Semi will also contribute in part, an extremely small part. However, in some respects, we also consider that Tesla may not produce a million vehicles per year, perhaps only a small portion of that number. Around 20,000 electric semi trucks per year at its peak could be feasible. This could be equivalent to a similar amount of battery capacity as you see in around 150,000 electric cars. This indicates that Tesla is aiming to use batteries from cattle, the new LFP battery type that's very cost effective. Tesla has shipped battery production equipment 4680 from Germany to the US, so we believe that's the direction Tesla's planning. This suggests that Tesla's considering producing various types of semi trucks in Europe. So, what details will Tesla Semi change to suit European traffic? Indeed, in Europe, we have restrictions on dimensions, so the tractor length must be as short as possible. For this reason, the Tesla Semi may need to be redesigned to European standards, limiting the maximum height of trucks to 61.5 feet with a maximum weight of 80,000 pounds or 40 tons. Typically, standard trucks in the U.S. are 72 feet long, 8.5 feet wide, 13.5 feet tall, and electric trucks can have a total weight of up to 82,000 pounds, with an additional 2,000 pounds encouraged in electric truck priority policies. 
This means Tesla will have to ditch the aerodynamic tractor inspired by the Japanese Shinkansen and switch to a cab over design with a flat nose. On the other hand, they could absolutely have a way to maintain the Tesla Semi's bullet shaped design, but shrinking the Tesla Semi's hood should be necessary. What do you think about making a new cabin for the Tesla Semi if it has to comply with European standards? To operate in Europe with customers demanding meticulous weight requirements, this poses a challenge for the Tesla Semi truck as it will also need to increase its load bearing capacity. This may require stronger brakes and slightly more metal at the rear of the tractor. We suspect that the Tesla Big Rig will require a stronger engine as the Semi already has a torque ranging from 1000 to 2000 Nm and a power output that could reach 1500 horsepower, but of course, Tesla's reduced it to around 1200 horsepower to protect the tires. The EU standards for trucks could soon change, primarily in at least some aspects. The goal is to facilitate the adoption of electric trucks. Relaxing these regulations will go hand in hand with stricter CO2 emission standards. The coming years are the perfect time for Tesla to launch a European version of the semi truck. In reality, when it comes to trucking, sometimes the cost of diesel fuel is not crucial, and the cost of electricity is not factored into prices and is tax deductible. What matters is the distance traveled each day and the amount of cargo transported. For electric trucks to become a reality, they must be able to cover a distance equivalent to one diesel truck's journey without needing to recharge. If a truck has to sit idle for two hours while charging during the day, it'll lose money. If you're wondering whether producing semi-trucks in Europe would be profitable for Tesla, based on the current or at least anticipated battery costs by the end of this year, the reality is slowly approaching equivalence. Although we haven't achieved a complete equivalence for a semi-truck yet because the battery size in a semi-truck is indeed very large, the operating costs are much lower. The difference between operating an electric semi-truck and a diesel one is enormous. You can recoup the investment costs in less than two years just through the difference in fuel costs. So what's the reason why Tesla Semi is known as an economical rig? The price of kilowatt hours at Tesla superchargers in Europe ranges from 13 cents at night to 40 cents during peak hours. It's worth noting that this is for superchargers and the difference in cost isn't too significant compared to the mega chargers that Tesla Semi uses. Of course, trucks certainly plan their trips to avoid having to charge their vehicles during peak hours. In contrast, the average diesel fuel price for a truck drive in Europe is around 59 euro cents per kilometer, equivalent to approximately 64 US cents per kilometer, including VAT. In the United States, the average electricity price is currently 1573 per kilowatt hour. When applied to the transportation sector, especially with Tesla Semi, the electricity consumption needs to be meticulously calculated. With Tesla Semi's announced consumption of 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile driven, a simple calculation shows that for each mile of operation, the electricity consumption cost of the Tesla Semi would approximately 26 US cents. This is a significant figure to consider regarding operational costs and the potential energy cost savings of electric vehicles in the transportation industry. On the other hand, in the US, using the current average retail price of diesel at $4 per gallon and assuming a fuel consumption rate of 6 miles per gallon when fully loaded, we can easily determine that the fuel cost of a typical diesel truck falls at around 66 US cents per mile. Therefore, the production of Tesla semi trucks in Europe will indeed be a highly sought after product due to its flexibility and cost savings. If Musk has publicly announced the production of this electric truck in Europe, then the question of concern now is how does the Tesla semi develop in Giga Nevada? To delve deeper into the production line of Tesla semi at this first factory is entirely insufficient, so most of the updates we've come through the sharing of Henrik Zane, a notorious Tesla semi advocate, through Giga Nevada drone coverage. In his post on X, he recently updated that Tesla are building a separate building at the north end of the Giga Nevada property for high volume semi production. In the interim, they can ramp up the prototype production line for and get low volume deliveries to customers. He also predicts that Tesla will produce and distribute between 500 and 1000 units before the high volume product line begins to ramp up. The product entering mass production line may be the Tesla semi sleeper cab as Tesla is confirmed. Not stopping there, Henrik Zane also provided the audience with many interesting insights regarding the production progress and the reasons for delays in launching this big rig for the North American market. Specifically, the production lines for the semi run from east to west at the 550 Milan Avenue building, which is adjacent to and unrelated to the construction of the Gigafactory Nevada. 
There are two production lines extending through the narrow length of this building, one of which is a relatively short assembly line comprising of about five or six stations dedicated to the electric truck. Talk further about the electric truck supply chain, the supply chain for the Tesla Semi is currently largely produced with parts from suppliers. What's even more surprising is when he revealed that Tesla surprising is when he revealed that Tesla currently assembles at least the plaid motors, accompanying inverters, world-leading temperature pumps, battery packs, possibly 2170, supplied by Panasonic or LG, and two screens that we are familiar with in every Tesla. And of course, in the semi, there's two screens. Tesla may assemble wiring harnesses, seats, steering wheels, and some other parts, while all the rest rely on suppliers in the supply chain, which could have been a major reason for the overall delay in electric truck production from assembly line bottlenecks to the number already delivered to PepsiCo and to Tesla. In essence, Tesla's top suppliers may have overlooked providing small-scale orders as demanded by the small number of Tesla semis produced to date. Tesla surely placed only a small quantity because they don't want to order large quantities until the final design's decided and until mass production's been ramped up. They can't store all those parts at the factory, hence Tesla's likely stuck with component suppliers. The semi-production line might offer some opportunities for automation. Currently, it's still being assembled manually by experienced engineering teams. In the event that Tesla Semi could be introduced to a line similar to other models like Cybertruck, Model Y, and Model 3, you can observe such images here. In theory, we assemble the frame to form a box structure. Then, it'll be assembled with a main shaft and gearbox. Then we install the wheels and tires, electric cables, hydraulic lines, battery pack, cabin assembled separately, and then it's completion. It sounds simple and straightforward, but of course, that's just theory, and in practice, there will inevitably be some complications. You can see that it's a fairly short assembly line, and the reason it's important is that from now until mass production, we think it's very possible that Tesla could initiate additional production lines, and instead of having two, they could easily add three, four, or five more production lines to have a total of five production lines, and then produce a small number of Tesla semis before the mass production facilities are ready and ramped up. Finally, the challenges facing Tesla are quite diverse. Although the expansion of Gigafactory Nevada to produce the Tesla Semi was announced in January 2023, the project has been delayed multiple times. Tesla only began construction in January of this year, and it's still unclear when production of this electric pickup truck will actually commence. All information still pending confirmation from Elon Musk. Tesla may not invest in production at other factories until the vehicles mass produced at the Nevada Gigafactory, and bringing the Tesla Semi to Europe ultimately poses many constraints that Tesla needs to address. The significant market that Tesla is currently overlooking is Asia. The demand for electric trucks in China is quite substantial, but there's a lot of competition. We speculate Tesla sees more business opportunities in Europe, where there's much less competition compared to China, but Europe has many environmental regulations driving their market. Traditional truck manufacturers have yet to introduce a long-range electric truck. On the contrary, Tesla faces competition from Nikola in North America, although the specifications of their pickup trucks are significantly inferior, BYD and traditional truck manufacturers like Volvo, Daimler, Truck Freightliner, Peterbilt aren't even attempting to compete in the long-haul road transport sector. We can't imagine how impactful it'll be when Tesla Semi overcomes all production-related challenges and is rolled out in large numbers for many fleets of companies beyond just PepsiCo. A prime example is how PepsiCo praises the electric fleet and considers it an indispensable part of the company's transport fleet. Miss Amanda DeVoe, Pepsi's strategic fleet director, mentioned that Tesla semis are consistently used for 12 hours each day, with a large number of vehicles traveling routes under 200 kilometers. With high capacity charging at these stations, Tesla semi drivers only need to take 20 to 30 minutes to charge their vehicles from 5 to 95% battery. She also notes that thanks to regenerative energy technology, Tesla semis can overcome complex routes with some routes seemingly not draining energy as the vehicle regenerates it, helping Pepsi save those fuel costs. Mr. Dejan Adonovich, Pepsi's electric vehicle department head, believes that what Tesla semi brings is of great value to Pepsi's future. With the advancement of electric vehicles, battery technology, and charging technology, the regular routes of diesel trucks may soon be converted to environmentally friendly vehicles ushering in a new era for the transportation industry. Despite comprising only 4% of the total number of vehicles on the road, large freight trucks account for up to 25% of total fuel consumption and emit 30% of the total emissions from all vehicles in the United States. Implementing environmentally friendly Tesla rigs will help improve the environment and save costs for operating companies. This is all the information we want to share with you in today's episode. 
So we have to ask, how do you feel about this Tesla electric truck? And what do you think about the future of a zero emission transportation industry? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, hit that like button and join the Tesla car world family by subscribing to our channel. That way you'll never miss any of our awesome videos once you hit the bell icon. We certainly value your feedback and your time and thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Until then, stay safe, have fun, and God bless.